welcome to High Country Stables. I was talking to Brad Ross on the phone the other day. He's from March Biological Control, and that's who we buy fly parasites from. And I asked him why he didn't have a video on his site about fly parasites and how to use them. And he said that he really didn't know how to make a video, so I told him I'd do one for him. I own High Country Stables. We're in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, you can see horses behind us, the barns right here, and I'm going to show you what fly parasites are and what they do. I got mine two days ago. They come in the box just like this. Brad was nice enough to answer a lot of questions I had about them, so I'm going to tell you what Brad told me. Fly parasites are simply wasps that live at night that are very small that come out and lay their eggs in fly larvae and they kill the larvae, which helps control flies. And I don't know about you at your farm or your place, but we try hard to control our flies. And this is a big part of it. We get these every month from Brad and um, wouldn't do without them. So what I want to do is take a few minutes and show you how these work. The box comes like this in the mail. And once we open the box, we get um, instructions in the box. And then you get a bag. We throw away the box. And inside this bag is really shavings with a bunch of fly larvae in it. And they're little black pieces of poop, pupa. Is that the name of it? The <laughs> fly pupa? Fly larvae? The instructions are to wait until the fly parasites, the little wasps, start hatching. So we set the bag in the sun at 70 degrees for a couple of days, and now they're hatching. And we can see that, ah, once I get the bag open here, I'm going to bring this bag over. I'm going to show you what these look like. Now watch out, they're really nasty bugs. You don't want to get them on you. Uh, only a professional should do this, like myself. So, here's the larva. You have to tell me, Mr. Cameraman, when we, can, you, can you see those? Should I be closer? You can see the little larvae? They're basically... Just little bitty bugs. They're little bitty wasps that come out at night. And you can see that basically it's shavings with larvae in it. And the larvae, this is what fly larvae looks like, if you've never seen it. There you can see the wasps. See them taking all off? They're going, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Well, let's go put the larvae where they're supposed to be. And that is around the manure. So come on with me into the barn and I'll show you what to do. This is Hunter. He's um, a prolific pooping thoroughbred. And the flies are worst in his stall, or the worst in his stall. What Brad told me to do is to take a little bit of this and put it in every other stall. Now we have 14 stalls, so that means we're going to put it in seven stalls. And we're going to spread it along the back in the existing shavings. Uh, we're going to put a little bit on the piles that we see them, but I'm only going to do a little handful on each of the stalls. Then we're going to go outside into the paddocks, and we're going to spread it into the paddocks, and then we're going to go out into the manure pile, and we're going to put it in there. And it's very simple. We just, we go on in. We're just going to actually just spread a little handful. And I like to spread it on the back so that uh, when they clean the stall, uh, they don't take most of it out. And the larvae are going to live anyway, the flies. So, uh, I mean the uh, wasp pupa. So we're going to uh, just spread this in every other stall. Then we're going to go outside and spread it on the field. So what I would recommend is it's very easy to do. It's relatively inexpensive. It's in com We use this in combination with fly strips and... Uh, we have automatic sprayers, small individual ones. Uh, we keep our stalls really clean, and we also um, drag our pastures a lot, our paddocks and our pastures, with a 4x4, four four, a four-wheeler, and a little drag rake to keep the manure all knocked down. And, you know, by doing all those things, we have very few flies. But I give a lot of this to the March Biological Company. So it's at marchbiological.com. You can get their number and call Brad, and I'm sure he'll help you. So I hope that's been helpful. And you can visit our site if you want at highcountrystables.com. Thanks.